Hey, this is Randy from BibleByGuy.com. I'm at CPE, Christian Product Expo, with Nikki Getman, Thomas Nelson, and we're gonna look at a few Bibles. The first one we're looking at is the Net. Yes. So Nikki's gonna tell us about the Net Bible. Right. Well, we're super excited about the NET, uh, the New English Translation, the Net Bible. Um, we think that this is a really important project. Um, that everyone needs to know about and so here at Thomas Nelson we're just super excited to be partnering with the translators who did the NET. Um, just a little bit about it. Uh, this was a translation that was started in 1995 uh, by some translators based out of DTS, Dallas Theological Seminary. And the reason why they did it was to um, create a royalty-free a license free translation that they could take across the whole world on Bible.org. Um, and so, because they were biblical studies professors um, and biblical language experts, they said, hey, we'll just do our own translation. Um, and because it started in 1995, they did something that had never been done before. Um, they, As they finished their translation, and they, they put it up on the internet in beta version for the world to comment, to make sure that they weren't missing anything um, that was biblically appropriate to the original text. Uh, so they received over a million sessions, believe it or not, wow. um, on their beta version, and, um, and that went back through, filtered back through these uh, biblical language experts, and um, they decided whether or not those arguments were valid. In the process of that, so that was the first thing, in the process they decided to do something else that had never been done, and that is keeping track of their translation decisions. Because they were unlimited, because this was a kind of internet based, they were unlimited by the number of pages and the file size and all of that kind of stuff. They, they kept track of all their translator notes and they posted those and made them available too. Um, and over time, they've, they've developed, there's over 60,000 translator notes in this particular edition that we're just coming out with now, that we're working with, um, with them on. And um, it is quite a project and quite a piece of, of work because, as uh, you'll see if I open this up, the, um, you'll see here, you, on any, I just opened this page randomly, you can see the scripture and then all the translation notes and decisions, um, verse by verse, almost word by word based on the decisions they made in their translation based on the biblical text. And effectively what happened is you get an understanding of translators' decisions through the centuries of bringing forward uh, the ancient biblical languages into um, English and into modern English that we can understand and read today. So regardless what your favorite translation is, you're going to see kind of the range of meanings and the, what the translators decided for your translation reflected here in the NET notes. It's a great translation on its own, but that is, um, this is a really important tool set for anyone who likes to understand the whys and wherefores that, that uh, Bible translators had as they were going through the Bible and making translations, all the way even back to Tyndale. And in these notes, sometimes you'll see um, other translations referenced and why they made their decisions. Sometimes you won't see that, but you'll understand because of the translator notes why that happened. So it's a really important tool that we're super excited about. Someone did ask me if it's a first edition or a second edition. This is, I would say it's more like a 2.1. So um, in November of last year, this started, the, the base text was the uh, second edition um, of the Net Bible. If people have been following along with this through the uh, couple of decades they've been working on it. Um, so it is started based on the second, but then they did a full review of some areas, particularly the New Testament, and updated the notes and the translation in a couple spots based on the Nestle Allen 28. So it is the most up-to-date based on the current um, academic research of the uh, Greek text in the New Testament. Excellent. So what paper is this? <laughs> this is a 36 GSM high contrast Bible paper, um, similar to what we've been using. It is the same as what we've been using on our study Bibles of late. It's easy to turn. Yeah, it has a nice uh, texture that yeah. allows you to grab it. Excellent. I love easy. that font too. What size font? 
this is, I believe, I think it's a nine point scripture and something smaller in the text. This is a comfort print. So for those who, who know that Thomas Nelson has been doing comfort print, but it's the NET comfort print. We again hired 2K Denmark to do the type and um, they were inspired by uh, Renaissance typefaces and um, which is important because actually I think the NET is part of that that history of Bible translation, English Bible translation of going back to the text which of course happened as part of the Reformation which is all kind of in that same time, time frame of the, the Renaissance and the Reformation. <clears throat> and you can see here that they're they had a big design challenge because of the volume of notes with over 60,000 notes. There's way more notes than scripture. Um, and so they even were inspired, 2K, we hired them to do the typesetting as well as the font. And they were inspired by the uh, Renaissance illuminated text. And so you can see here, they have scripture in the middle, as you would see in the Renaissance uh, manuscripts surrounded by commentary. You never lose track of what the prime purpose is, which is scripture, and then you have the commentary wrapped around. So when you say commentary, you don't necessarily mean like a study Bible. Not not study Bible commentary, translator commentary. Translator commentary. Yeah. It's excellent. It's beautiful. So yeah. is this available now? It is available for pre-order now and is available generally October 1st. Okay, October 1st. Yeah. Excellent.